Hello, welcome to NeoScribe. Brookings Institute published a study identifying that 25% of the jobs in the United States are under high risk of automation, and virtually all jobs will eventually have some portion of its tasks automated in the future. This boils down to the characteristics of tasks. Machines are better suited for tasks that are repetitive or well understood and therefore are easily codified. Now, before you panic, it's important to point out that this is just the potential for automation. How much or how fast companies adopt automation is more complicated to identify. And there are many barriers that prevent automation adoption from meeting its potential. The barriers include technical feasibility, deployment challenges, labor competition, regulation, and social barriers, among others. So with that being said, let's take a look at the industries with the highest risk of automation identified by Brookings. Accommodation and food services are at the most risk by a steep margin at 73% automation potential. We covered the food industry in episode 1, so today let's zero in on manufacturing. Manufacturing jobs in the United States have already faced a dramatic decline from 2001 to 2010 after China joined the World Trade Organization. The US lost 6 million or about one third of its manufacturing jobs during that period and have since rebounded by around 2 million jobs. And according to Brookings, the industry could face another decline in the coming decade. The US installed a record number of industrial robots in 2018 at over 28,000, which is 16% more than in 2017. However, that number fell to below 24,000 in 2019, but it's expected to jump back to 2018 figures by 2021. And the revealing part to me is that robots are spreading beyond automotive manufacturing, which has been the primary application of industrial robots. Electronics manufacturing has become the second most significant segment for industrial robot adoption. You see, industrial robotics has advanced over the years to the point where it can now work with small, delicate parts with precision. And this blew the doors open for electronics manufacturing to automate. The robots in electronic manufacturing can be deployed in practically any stage of production, the most common being etching, pressing, assembly, and many other tasks. But we are actually seeing a decline of manufacturing jobs on a global scale, and this brings us to another study by Oxford Economics. This study predicts that China will see the most impact from automation considering the country has 100 million manufacturing jobs. And of that, 14 million are expected to be replaced by automation by 2030. It started a campaign in 2014 to replace manual labor with robots on a massive scale. The city of Dongguan, for instance, reduced the manufacturing workforce by 280,000 over five years and added 90,000 industrial robots. Then the Taiwanese company Foxconn, who manufactures iPhones in China, cut more than 400,000 jobs between 2012 and 2016 and replaced them with tens of thousands of robots. And then there's Europe that will face less of an impact on manufacturing comparatively, but it's still projected to lose almost 2 million manufacturing jobs by 2030. The age of automation is coming and it's inevitable. There's too much money at stake. The global GDP stands to gain $5 trillion with automation of just 30% of manufacturing tasks. And when you zoom out to automation's total impact, it's projected to add almost $16 trillion to the global economy by 2030. That's like adding the production of 13 Australias into the global economy. And the adoption of automation will only accelerate as the cost of robots decline. Industrial robots are projected to fall by 65% between 2015 and 2025. And as a result of this, the industrial robot market is projected to reach over $66 billion by 2027. These are the top industrial robot manufacturers according to Fortune Business Insights. Japan is clearly the leader in the industry, and I'm a little disappointed with no American companies, but at least Boston Dynamics Atlas can do backflips. Oh, that's right, Japan owns that too. Now, before you panic, technology has historically created more jobs than it has replaced. And based on a study done in UK by Deloitte, this trend will likely continue with automation. The study found that the UK lost around 800,000 jobs to automation over the past 15 years, but it found that automation at the same time helped create 3.5 million jobs. What's more, the jobs created paid $13,000 more per year than the jobs it replaced. And that sounds like good news to me, but there's also some bad news. The big takeaway for me from researching this video is that the workforce needs to be proactive moving forward as individuals and be adaptable. Especially the younger you are, if you're still in college or just getting out of college, it's less wise to rely on the job market. Matter of fact, the Oxford report recommends assessing your job or prospective career and identify repetitive tasks. 
then you should compete, grow, and excel in the skills that are less susceptible to automate. Finally, the report also recommends adopting a lifetime learning mindset and be prepared to retrain and upskill throughout your career. Indeed, it appears that excelling in the coming automation age will require certain qualities more than ever before. Ingenuity, inventiveness, adaptability, creativity, and above all, courage. Thank you so much for watching. Episode 2 was long overdue. There is a fascinating concept that I will reveal towards the end of this series, but there are a few more books that I want to read before I'm comfortable covering it. And it's actually because of this concept that I believe the automation age is something that we should all embrace. So I'm excited to continue this series with all of you because I think this is the most important thing that I cover on this channel. After all, it affects all of us and it will affect the generations to come. Okay, so remember to check out my channel every Sunday, that's when I post. On next week's video, we will be exploring something fascinating that Toyota is working on, so I hope you check that out. And with that, I hope you enjoyed your journey. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I am Neil Scribe, and I'll see you on the next journey.